Welcome back to the shop. It's your boy Ramon, the shop the surgeon. Today, we're hopping on something completely different. As you can see, I got my trailer out here. Actually picked up some steel tubing. This is two by two by 20. One, one and a piece and one is cut into two. So we got two pieces of two inch length. We're doing our ramps for our trailer. All because of, I really dislike the angle iron that is used here. So, this is what happens when you get a heavier car put on here. So, these are just, you know, they get fragile here, worn down, and uh, they bend. So, I'm going to do some heavy, heavy duty ones, square tubing. This is 11 gauge, comes out to like one point um, something, or 0.127 or something like that. So, it's pretty pretty good and stout i think all this extra angle iron to make this full tube is actually going to hold up really well i don't think i'm going to use these pieces either for the center pieces i'm going to make it all out of square tubing and i think it's going to be really stout yes it's going to be much heavier duty it's going to be much heavier but i want the strength to be able to withstand any type of vehicle pretty much obviously we're not going to overload the trailer or anything like that but somebody borrowed my trailer or rented my trailer and used it for a like a 1970s truck and that thing is all steel a lot heavier two times and there you go so we're gonna make uh, a little fix for this and i would actually love to have somehow for them to go in here because i'm wanting to go for longer this is only a four footer i would love to go six footer at least maybe a five just because I want to be able to do for the low profile vehicles. It is already pretty low, so we're gonna to have to see what it looks like whenever we actually mock up four feet over here. So uh, yeah. And I have a good bit of European watchers, so let me go ahead and tune that in. Vitaj всіх моїх підписчиків, які на Україні і всюди по Європі. Я дуже дякую, що ви продовжуєте дивитися мій канал. Хочу вам об'яснити чуть-чуть часть сьогодні про це. Ми переробляємо свої наїзні е, рампи, називається, на прицеп. Сама більша проблема, що ми маємо зараз, яка, що людина загружувала дуже тяжку машину, і от воно погнулося. Вона був дуже тяжкий трак, так що от і у нас така маленька проблема. Так що ми що будемо робити? Ми будемо переробити його повністю. Ми хочемо відійти геть від отакого, де воно 90 градусів, і там немає ніякого, як то, підтримки всередині. Так що мод Ми переходимо на квадратні, два інча на два інча. Як грубо це є, я тут поставлю на екрані. Я тільки можу сказати по-англійськи, воно називається 11 gauge. Він дуже грубий і він хватає для того, що нам треба. Так що я буду користувати це для оці сторонні і перекрости оці всі. Буде важити набагато більше, але великий плюс за те, що воно не буде гнутися. Я би хотів теж зробити, щоб він був довший. Але не може, бо воно зараз користує одну тут а, а, секцію, де воно держить їх двох, так що вони тільки можуть бути 4 фіта. Так що ми щось мусимо придумати. Ілі 4 фіта нам буде, нам буде хватати, або я перероблю, щоб було хоч 5, бо коли низька машина, треба, щоб воно було далі від е, прицепа, щоб наклон не був такий дуже агресивний. Так що дуже дякую за те, що ви просмотрюєте. Дуже дякую за ваші лайки, за ваші subscribe. Хай вас Бог благословить. Оголошення до моєї сім'ї там на Україні. Хай вас Бог благословить. Ми дуже вас любимо і молимося за вами. Щиро вітання. Пока. What we have going on is I marked my four foot. These are a little bit longer than four foot because of the actual, a little bit of the angle iron that actually hooks onto there. And so when I actually push this down like this, obviously it's gonna be a little higher. Plus uh, I have to score it at a good degree here. So it actually lays flat down onto the, the ground. So I'm thinking it'll be okay. I don't think it's gonna be too too high or too steep so right now what I'm measuring is I want to go a little bit longer than four foot and so I'm measuring from the tip 
of right here the fender of how far these can stick out and so they pretty much can go right to here so that's what i'm measuring too so right now i'm measuring a little bit over eight foot i can do i think i'm gonna do uh let's see 98 and probably a half so i'll go a little bit more like that because they can go i mean it's just a an eighth that way or that way and back so it should fit perfectly fine so let's go and divide that and start cutting i have cut my two pieces now what we're going after is the actual width of what it's supposed to be so when i actually measure this one it's only um just a little over a foot you can see that right there so why not make it bigger because over here as you can tell there's a pretty big gap so we can actually make a lot wider that way if the vehicle that we're, they're towing has a bigger tires why not so i'm looking at with a little bit of space here i'm thinking we're gonna hit 13 right there 13 inches i'll be perfect it has plenty of clearance on both sides so we're gonna even make a wider track so that's awesome so with it being 13 all together, these are two inch by two inch. So 13 minus four, because one side and then the other, 13 minus four is nine. So we're gonna go ahead and measure that out. Nine, be right there. Mark it off and cut it off. So here we have it. Yes, I don't have it aligned, but I have made two of them. And for our measurement, what we come up with, I believe it is just a hair over 13. So there you have it. It's about 13 and I mean, it's really close, maybe a 16th. So it is, uh, it'll fit perfectly fine all the way across. So now got to figure out how many I need. Just cut them up and then we're going to tack weld it and hopefully make it work. Um, right now I'm cutting it with a, a sawzall. I just don't, for some reason, don't like to cutting it with a, one of these grinder. I got a cutoff wheel, but this thing doesn't really want to do much. So I have a uh, one of the platform saws. I'm gonna see if I can get a blade for it. Maybe it'll help me cut in the long run much faster, but this one to mock up and everything. And for sure to get this angle cut that we need for um, whenever we're actually out there. We're gonna see and uh, make it with that uh, uh, bandsaw, hopefully. But yeah, so now rinse and repeat. These are just nine, nine uh, inches. Let's fill them up. All right, everything is laid out exactly how I want it. I got it nine inches, like I said, between each uh, foot set up, set up. I already went ahead and started to tack weld it. It's working really wonderful, of course. Make sure you don't forget to clean off your material. Prep all, wax and grease removal. We're gonna go ahead and tack everything all the way up and uh, we'll go from there. We're getting really close, guys.
I said, I'm also attaching, let me put this over. Let's get wrong. This. And so, you see how that lines up perfect? I'm gonna have an angle iron that's gonna lay on top of this, and then it'll have a little slit, and it'll obviously I angle iron, say this name, and it's gonna fold over, and it's gonna be that right there. I think this is actually even lower profile than what that is, because this is longer. This will be longer than four feet, so this is perfect. I think we'll be able to make do with it. Very excited. I'm gonna go ahead and tack, tack weld the other side, and completely weld her up, of course. Make sure you clean it all off because it is steel. It's been coated with something specific so it'll last and not, you know, not rust. Man, can not think of the word. Let's flip it over and get it welded up. All right, guys. So yesterday I had to wrap up a little bit early, but that is pretty much going to be the whole thing. Obviously, I still got to put my angle iron on here. Sadly, couldn't do it today at the moment because trailer went out for a rental so we'll wait till it gets back and then we'll complete this one which now we're going to come out here and cut the next one All right, so while in the midst of doing it, like I said, trailer been rented. So I'm working with what I got. Made sure everything is square. Made my marks for the center of these cross pieces are gonna be. Now I'm gonna go and separate them. I'm gonna clean off where they're gonna be welded to. I already got these, like I showed y'all. These are nice and grounded down, ready for uh, welding. I'm gonna do the same here, grind it up a little bit. Do a little bit of wax and grease removal, and we're gonna tack weld her up. Before grinding, I'm gonna take this, put it up right here, mark the thickness of this, so I know exactly how much to grind down. These all fall right on the center, so. Just like that. Perfect. Same on here. Okay, now, got everything laid out. Let's go ahead and grind her down a little bit. We don't need a lot at all. So obviously with heat transfer, it's wanted to bow out a little bit. So I did put a strap on it. 
I'm gonna make sure it's level and tack them down. There you have it guys, both sides welded up, came out really nice. I cannot wait to try this. My uh, trailer, once it gets back, we're gonna try to see if we can load my truck on it. And I'm pretty sure it's gonna have zero problems. Yes, we still gotta put that plate on, that 90 degree, um, whatever it's called, you know what I mean? The angle iron, see if we can put a piece on there. And I'm going to leave a just perfect slit so it's going to go up like this and then a perfect slit so it'll slide right onto the uh, trailer and won't really budge at all, hopefully. And uh, that's pretty much it. I think uh, I'm going to have to weld all this, obviously, a little bit later. That's going to make it really strong. It's just I've been putting some serious welding time with this project and something else. So appreciate you guys. So here we have it. This is the finished product. Pretty much 100% complete. Obviously, we've got to just do a paint job. I'll fill these in later, put little covers on there, make sure water does not get in there. But uh, the weld's coming out awesome. All the way around. Looking good. I believe they're going to be plenty for what we need. Well, yeah, that's it. Don't worry, guys. Manager's out here making sure everything's correct. We got that rail in there. Well, look at this. This is how it came out. I think it came out wonderful. It's a lot lower. Hey, quiet in there. We're trying to film here. Come here. Come here. Miriam, come. She's busy with leaves. All right, so it came out lower, and I offered the little uh, boards that I'm going to get later just in case if they need it much lower, which uh, I'll put you guys a picture here. I had a guy uh, rent it for me, and it, he had a super that he built for his racetrack and uh it actually turned out really well he used some uh two by sixes and uh just helped it come up there much easier and smoother and uh, i think yeah i think they're, they're perfect enough we'll do those tabs on so it'll catch properly i do not like the the paint that uh, was used i guess because it does want to <laughs> quiet quiet mister um it wants to scratch and uh come through with the metal but I want to use some Raptor liner for this and the whole trailer. So we're going to obviously do that whole thing. But 
yeah, I think it turned out really well. Very awesome. Um, did not get to make a video for this box because I had a renter that wanted to take it the next day and I wanted to work on it that day. So I got up at three in the morning, got this thing busted out and looks works really well. Um, I think it's locked right now. So I'll go and get the key and show you guys. Okay, so here's the key. Put the key in, open her up. We got all the straps. We got five of them in here just in case one extra. Of course, we got the battery. I do want to make a better mount for it because right now it's just held with that strap in there. Got our electrical system. Got everything we need. Got our uh, remote for our winch. This works perfect. Let me show you guys. And so it has little nuts on here, so you don't even have to take them off really. It doesn't need that perfect connectivity. It works perfectly fine. You could just throw it on like this and uh, it'll work properly. So that's the best part about it. You don't have to really do much wiring. Of course, one of our uh, renters left it on here and winched it inward and uh, yeah, grooved it up. So that's awesome. So disengage it right there. And now we can pull it and then we use our Bluetooth, which is really awesome because you can stand, you know, all the way out there where your vehicle is or sit in it and steer so it'll go on properly. And now, there it goes. Perfect. And of course, I leave off some slack so somebody can take this off. So there you go. Very awesome. What do you guys think of that box? And definitely let me, let me know what you guys would do different about these ramps i think they're personally awesome i was able to make them a little longer than the four foot and and because they stick out all the way over here the other ones usually got to here and old ones are like a foot and these are like 13 13 inches so a little bit wider so that's awesome so very excited for uh to see how well these do i think they're gonna do just fine so if you guys did like this video we appreciate all you guys to support leave us a like down below comment down what other things we should do to this trailer to be an optimal for everyday use for people that want to rent it obviously i'm asking all the renters that come and rent it out what else i can make it their life easier that's how we actually building this trailer up so then whenever we get the next ones and more they're gonna be perfect and ready to go so appreciate you guys the subscribes thank you all so much for the support we love you guys you guys take care bye bye